in the middle of a coffee plantation. It's wrong. I think my friends from Singapore would like this orchid. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Javier. Welcome to the channel. This video is part of our series on our road trip to Southern Lao. We're on our way from Octopo to Seikong. Then we will continue on to the city of Fox Song, which will be our second visit. We left it so much, we're going again. And this shows you where we are in relation to the city of Yanshan. We're at the first waterfall for the day. This is Tai Wakon. See if we can find where the waterfall drops down. Okay, found the way down to the waterfall. Let's see what it looks like down here. Oh, guys, this is majestic. This is great. This is during the dry season, so. During the rainy season, I'm assuming because all these water river rocks and all of this is underwater. I think all of this is underwater during the rainy season. Let's see if we can get closer. Pretty amazing. Look at these waterfalls. Well, we got a reason to come back during the rainy season. Come back up. So we learned that the owner of this particular property that sits right across from the waterfalls is working on developing it into a camping and dining area. So we start working on it. There's a cute little doggy. So we were fortunate enough to find it right at its beginning. We made it into the city of Saikon proper and saw another one of these billboards, but they're all across the country. These promote tourism. And they're pretty neat because they show the local attractions and things going on in the area. Yeah, for her and I don't know what to call it then. Donut? Yeah, okay. I want some sugar, <laughs> sugar cane. Kanom, kanom ban? Kanom ban. What is that? Banana. Oh, banana. Yeah, I give you some. I'm going to go get some the sugar cane. Mmm. Sup? Cup chai. The same person that has the kanom also has the namoy. Oh, they got the market here. Beef and seafood market looks like. We're in Seikong. It's a 
pretty city. We got some cow chi. It's a busy spot. It's a busy corner. This is a busy corner. You got everything here. Yeah, I, I got some bummy too. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. It smells good. This is for the resident protein. It's a border close to Vietnam. I think there are a lot of Vietnam people here too. Oh, okay. How about a side of Vietnam? Vietnam, you need like Yeah, this is more Vietnam style. With the pork, pork strips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. 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 The big pork strips in it, like that. Yeah. By me. Okay. So from our food stop, we continued on through Saigon Province, pretty scenic area with the mountains in the background, and we eventually got to a place called Tateng. So we drove through Tateng Farm and Resort. There's a lot of these kind of themed lodging areas throughout the country. Pretty scenic. This was priced out at 500,000 kip or about $25 US, but we had our sights set on Baksom, so we continued on. Our next stop was the Sunuk Coffee Resort, and this is on the outskirts of Baksong. So Sunuk is one of the more well-known coffee brands in the country of Lao. And down in Baksong, on the Bolivang Plateau, they have a resort where you can stay, tour the coffee plantations, take classes on coffee production and coffee tasting. So it's a pretty interesting place to learn a lot. And it's in a pretty area. Here we are at the Sanuk Coffee Farm and Resort. Kids are having fun going for a swim. I think the coffee farm is this way to go look for it here's the coffee plantation this is it here we are in the boulevard plateau in the middle of a coffee plantation this is where sinuk coffee comes from We'll try some. Oh, La Lao style latte. So there's the condensed milk, the coffee, and the steamed milk. <laughs> smells good. Cheers. Sinuk coffee. Mm. 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 
That's good. Guys, look at this. This is the start of the burning season. We're in Paxong, and that is a humongous fire. From the end of February through probably the end of April, it'll be like this smoky with these kind of fires starting all across the region. Look at that big plume of smoke. That is one big fire. We're going to Tad Tagnuang Waterfall. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some guy young here. You get some pink guy. Smells good. This is the way to go down? Yeah. Okay, watch your step. And we made it back to Tide Fun Waterfall in Paxong. We liked it so much the first time that we came back for a second time on the way back on the Bolivang Loop. This time we're staying overnight. This looks like, uh, this is like the Christmas. Is this the one that smells? Something smells. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it that one? Yeah, it's like an orchid. I think my friends from Singapore would like this orchid. This is from the jungle. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, wild one. Lao orchid. Yeah, in the in the in the jungle. It's growing. <laughs> from my friends in Singapore, you can tell me what kind of orchid this is. A lot of these growing here. There's some more. Maybe that's not the same. I'm not sure. It looks a little bit different. Here's where we're staying tonight. Todd Fawn Resort. 400 and what? How much are you paying for the room? 800 baht. 800 baht. 
if they allow kids to be uh, 524,000 kids. So about $25 tonight. Something like that. Something like that. It's yeah. not bad. And we figured out what smells so good. It's, yeah, it's this plant here and it's got flowers. And it's called Vansana. Yeah, it's got a real fragrant smell. There's more of it over here. All this is the Vansana. So you can smell it, the fragrance as you're walking through. It smells really good. It's like perfume, like a gardenia. So guys, we're staying here and we're, there's only maybe two other people staying at the resort tonight, so it's pretty quiet. The waterfall is closed, the park is closed, but if you're staying here, you can wander around. That's what we're doing. The same place where they have the zip line. So we'll come back and do the zip line in August during the rainy season. And they have breakfast. So we'll come back and come over tomorrow morning and get some breakfast. Bamboo forest. I'm five foot six and that bamboo tower is above me. So you get an idea of how big that is. They got a bunch of houses that are just built. I don't know if this is supposed to look like a, uh, an old Lao village, but you can see this, this is kind of a traditional Lao architecture, similar to Thai architecture. pretty here at night and it's quiet so we're just wandering around this is the Todd Fawn Resort in Buxan Lao where the waterfall is yeah it's a nice place all right everyone this is one of our final videos on our road trip to southern Lao if you like it please don't forget to like subscribe and share as always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.